always follow your doctor's direction specifically, but this is my personal opinion, having gone through colonoscopies several times now on how to prep for it in the least torturous way possible. So this is my opinion. So it's that time in your life you gotta have a colonoscopy done. Well, the prep by far is the worst part. I've been through it several times now, and you're out for the actual procedure, so you don't know what's going on. But the day before, it can be torturous. And they make it worse. Sometimes they'll give you a prescription for some uh, drink that you mix up. It's supposed to be lemonade flavored. It's disgusting. If they try to give you that, throw that in the trash. We're going to buy some over-the-counter stuff and get it done. There's a lot of different directions. A lot of different doctors will tell you. And even if you go online, it's, it varies a little bit. But it's all basically the same thing. We're just drinking a lot of laxatives <laughs> over a short period of time to clear out the bowels and, and flush it out. Now, my doctor's specific directions were trying to tell me that yesterday, two days before the procedure, I would my last meal would have been breakfast. Now that's extreme. I'm not going two days without eating, man. That's that's a lot. So my last meal was 4 p.m. yesterday, okay? I'm still almost two days without eating, but I know my body well enough. If I eat around 4 p.m. one day, it's all coming out of me the next day around new, you know, next the next morning, right? It's all that's coming out of me. So I know my body well enough that that works for me. I don't need to do that. And their directions were to start to take two stool Ducalax stool softeners at 5 p.m two days before. So I took these last night, basically, around 6 or 7 p.m. You know, I pushed it a little bit. I, I'm sticking to their to their, their directions, but I, I pushed it ahead a little bit because I didn't want breakfast to be my last meal yesterday. These are five milligram. These are the five milligram one. If you're like me at all and you have, you have soft stools regularly and whatever, and you, you don't, you know, you don't make normal poop regularly anyways, this this isn't really doing a lot for you, but if you do make regular poop and stuff, this will get this will get you started on that. Now it's the day before my procedure. My procedure is tomorrow, and they wanted me to take two more of these tablets at noon today, and I did. It's right after noon. It's about 1 p.m. now. Okay, and now we're gonna get started on the heavy duty stuff. This is a 238 gram Miralax bottle. Uh, you can purchase this over the counter. Everything here you can purchase over the counter. And th this is the best way to do this. Again, they're gonna, they might try to give you some prescription for something they'll, they'll give you. And it might be free. So, yeah, I mean, all this stuff here costs about 15 bucks. So, you know, if you don't have $15 to spend, maybe you'll have to go with the free option that you could get. That's a, it's, it's a gross lemonade drink that it doesn't taste good. It's, it's torture drinking. You got to drink a whole gallon of it. So it's $15 or be tortured drinking a whole gallon of a disgusting lemonade drink basically so what you're going to want to get is a 238 gram bottle of Miralax right here this is about 12 bucks that's the most of the most cost there and then you want to get two bottles of Gatorade they said these were 32 ounce well guess what we got shrinkflation going on now they're 28 ounces so uh, okay Gatorade we know you're saving four ounces you made the bottle smaller Shrinkflation. All right, so that that'll do. So you need two 28 ounce bottles of Gatorade. If if you can find 32 ounce bottles, I don't think they make them anymore. But what all we're going to do is dump uh, half of this Miralax bottle in this bottle of Gatorade. Probably drink a little bit of the Gatorade first to to clear some room. Dump half of this in one. Dump the other half in the other Gatorade. I got two Gatorades here, and they told me around 2 p.m. today I got to start drinking it. So. You know, they're going to try to give you some very specific directions like, oh, every start drinking eight ounces of the Gatorade every every hour or whatever. Like, li listen, just just you got you got all day here that you pretty much got the whole day free. You just got to get through both of these bottles of Gatorade in the next, I don't know, six hours or something. I don't know. Just we're just all you're trying to do is clear these bowels out so that they're nice and clear and clean so that they can see what's going on inside you. That's all, and, and, and trust me, if you drink a whole bottle of this, it's gonna happen. That's all we're trying to do here. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna mix these up, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna crack open the Gatorades. I'm gonna drink a little bit out. <sighs> That's good. This is not a uh, trick you wanna play on anybody, for the record. <laughs> Don't, uh, don't do this as a joke to anybody. Um, it's not a good time, folks. I mean, you're you're in for you're in for a day of unenjoyment. But but uh, you got to get this done. Oh man, I should have drank out a little more. So 
tip. You wanted to drink a little bit more out than than I did, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do here is wait another little bit because I'm not starting it just yet. So I'm gonna wait another hour and uh, I'll drink a little bit more of these and add the rest. Also important to note at this point, folks, do not buy the red, orange, or yellow Gatorade for your bowel prep. Uh, they do not want you drinking red, orange, or yellow Gatorade because of the coloring. It makes it harder to see stuff, I guess. So go with the blue, the uh, nice frosty blue Gatorade is the one you want. Well, it's three o'clock. I'm about to drink a little bit of this actual Miralax solution so that I can add the rest. All right, again, so their directions are trying to tell you something like uh, drink eight ounce glasses of this every 15 or something, 15 minutes or something. Well, just forget all that in my opinion. Again, this is my opinion. I'm not a doctor. Listen to your doctor, but uh, in my opinion, just get through both of these bottles in a couple hours or something. You'll be fine. Just just start sipping on it and uh, be near the bathroom. Be right outside your restroom, basically, is where you want to be. This tastes so much better than that, that lemonade thing they'll give you. And it's a whole gallon you got to drink. So, again, in my opinion, like, in the past I've gotten that. You know, it's free or whatever. Like, if you got insurance or whatever, it's like, here, we'll give you this free gallon jug and you got to mix it. No, like, you only, only got to drink two of these Gatorades. It tastes a lot better. Uh, this is the way to go with this deal. So, I'm going to get situated outside of the bathroom now. You're going to want to make sure you got ample supplies of toilet paper and uh, you're near the commode because things are going to start happening. It's going to start happening real fast. <laughs> Okay. 